kuzo kila siku jana leo na kesho Story time Have you ever felt so pushed against the wall feeling like you're between a rock and a hard place in today's story, we will hear of a man who felt the same, so pushed against the wall that he finally decided to look to Jesus. After that, he realized that Jesus is not just an option, but the only option. I bring to you the story of Pastor Zachary Moray. Greetings in Jesus' name. My name is Zachary Moravi. I am born again. I am a son in this house. I joined this church in the year 2004 and that by that time I was not born again so my wife could encourage me to come to church and I could give excuses many times actually I would not come to church because I was nursing hangovers so over the time I stepped in the door of the church and I remember the first day the service did not even end I left midway but the story has come like that one of people who are from no background even in the bible people who do not even know god but here i am so the journey has come this way and in the year 2008 i gave my life to christ and i started the discipleship in this church i was taken through the father's vision i graduated and I have been serving in this church since then. Since the year 2008, I served in this church. In the year 2009, after I got born again in 2008, um, there was a situation in my life, and life became very unbearable. Bishop uh, Wanasema Kwama, Nalobi Kwa Imenikata. So actually, I felt like I'm on my way to the up country. But I remember I was booked for the welfare committee. And I went there for one reason. I was just about to be chased out of my rental house. So I went to the welfare committee to seek the help on rent. And while I was still there, one lady called Alice Congo gave me an analogy of where I can go to a court and I'm accused and then someone says, I want to stand in and go to prison for that person. Then I was so excited and she told me, Jesus is ready to do that. So at that particular point, I gave my life to Christ. I came for a check, but I left with Christ. That to me was a turning point in my life. And I know even for you, God is even creating that situation so that you may see him. It has been such an experience, even seeing where God can get someone from and where he can put him, because God has no favorites. So this is the journey that we have come through, even with my wife. And in the year 2022, God called me to go and expand the work of the kingdom. Under my father, Bishop Jimmy Kimani, uh, I was planted as a son in the area of Georgia, where now we are the senior pastors with my wife, Catherine. We are, we are getting to our third year now. And this can only be God. This is the story of where God has brought me through this church and where I am right now and the vision that is ahead of us of reaching as many souls as we can for the purposes of the kingdom. This is a testimony that can also and talk to you and encourage you, you who is seated there and see that God can use anyone and he can take that person anywhere because this is what God is calling us to do. Thank you so very much and may God richly bless you. As the DCI KSD turns 40, we continue to see that God can use anyone, anywhere to do anything. From the testimonies that we've had and continue to hear, we see God's goodness, faithfulness, and favor upon our lives. So, have you given your life to Jesus? Is Jesus an option in your life or is he the only option? As usual, this is my story, this is your story, this is our story. This is the DCIKZ at 40.